Russian-American writer Ayn Rand found her first widespread fame in the literary arena with her 1943 novel The Fountainhead. The Fountainhead tells the story of Howard Rourke, a young architect who strives to stay true to his artistic visions in the modernist movement rather than conform to the traditional ways of his profession where other architects reject innovation. In Howard Rourke, Ayn Rand exemplifies the notion that individualism is to be valued over collectivism. Rourke refers to those who cling to the old ways and conforming as second-handers. To him, they sacrifice their integrity and individuality by refusing to move forward independently. Rand creates characters who represent views and ways of being that contrast with Rourke's beliefs. Rourke's old friend, Peter Keating, finds success in his professional life by keeping up with styles that are popular. But he needs Rourke's assistance when he encounters issues related to design. Ellsworth Toohey is a socialist architecture critic guided by self-serving interests, who attempts to destroy Rourke's career while advancing his own political agenda. Also hoping to influence public opinion is Gail Winand, a newspaper publisher who gets to know Rourke but ends up betraying him. Rourke's lover, Dominique Franken, at times helps Rourke, but since she does not believe it is possible to succeed without conforming, she frequently undermines him as well. At the beginning of their relationship, there is a particularly forceful sexual encounter, which Dominique later refers to as rape. This has led to the novel carrying a pall of controversy, as critics have sometimes used the scene to suggest that Rand had written an endorsement of rape. The novel opens in 1922 with Howard Rourke being expelled from the architecture program at the Stanton Institute of Technology. His losing his place at the school stems from his unwillingness to follow the school's call for the use of historical conventions in designing new buildings. Rourke heads to New York City and secures a position with Henry Cameron. Cameron was at one time a well-known and respected architect, but his services are no longer in wide demand. Peter Keating, Rourke's roommate at Stanton, graduates with honors and also moves to New York. Keating obtains a job with Frank and Hire, one of the elite firms in the city. Keating puts himself in good standing with Guy Franken, one of the senior partners in the firm, and proceeds to find ways to eliminate those he sees as rivals. Ultimately, Keating becomes a partner. Cameron and Rourke work together and develop creative projects, although they continue to have economic difficulties. Soon Cameron retires, and Rourke goes to work for Keating. This arrangement is short-lived. Franken fires Rourke as he steadfastly refuses to use the classic style to design a building. Rourke moves on to another firm and then opens his own, but it does not last long as he finds clients hard to find. After closing his office, Rourke finds work at a granite quarry owned by Franken. Rourke meets Dominique, a writer for the New York Banner and Franken's daughter. Dominique has been staying at her family's estate in the area. They are quickly attracted to one another, which leads to the incident Dominique eventually calls rape. Rourke hears from a client in New York and returns there to begin work on a new building. Dominique also goes to New York, where she finds out that Rourke is an architect. While she attacks his work in public, she continues her physical relationship with him. Meanwhile, Kelsworth Toohey, using his influential column in the banner to manipulate public opinion, mounts a smear campaign against Rourke. He gets one of Rourke's clients to sue him, and at a trial, Tui and some architects, including Keating, paint Rourke as an incompetent because of his refusal to work with historical styles. Rourke loses the case, although Dominique comes to his defense. Dominique decides that in a world where someone such as Rourke is not respected, she will live and use the world the way it is. She rejects Rourke and marries Keating. Following his lead, she helps divert clients to Keating and away from Rourke. Gail Winand, who owns the banner, offers to help Keating land a significant account if Dominique will sleep with him. Dominique goes along with this, and Winand takes it a step further and pays Keating to divorce Dominique. Keating does so, paving the way for the marriage of Winand and Dominique. Winand sets out to build a home for Dominique and realizes that Rourke designed every building he finds appealing. Winand hires and befriends Rourke not knowing about Rourke's past with Dominique. Keating, with the help of Tui, obtains the Cortland housing project and turns to Rourke for help in designing it. Rourke agrees to do so in secret with the condition that Keating not change any of his suggestions. After being away for a while, Rourke finds that Keating allowed changes to the project, and to protect his vision, Rourke destroys the project with dynamite. Winan defends Rourke in his newspapers after he is arrested hurting his own circulation by taking this unpopular position. 
This leads to a strike and the firing of Tui. When it reaches the point where the paper might have to close, Wynand reverses his stand, retracting his support for Rourke. On trial, Rourke speaks of integrity and is found not guilty. This influences Dominique to leave Wynand and return to Rourke. Wynand realizes the consequences of misusing the power he had and closes the paper. He hires Rourke to design a skyscraper to serve as a tribute to what man can achieve. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.